Before you go to the winter snow clearing service, remove the power hydraulics from the Unimog. This results in considerable payload advantages and protects the hydraulic component against corrosion. In the case of our vehicle, we first dismantle the flatbed to access the power hydraulics. Remove the six drive shaft screws and then put the shaft aside. Take care to catch leaking oil and clean the vehicle accordingly. Then undo the connection to the lines at the front. The number of lines can vary depending on the equipment. Disconnect the two screw connections. At the front of the power hydraulic oil tank, loosen the clamp of the leak oil line and remove the hose. Close the ends with a stopper. In the next step, remove the clamp of the compressed air line. This creates the necessary space to be able to separate the two previously disconnected lines. Pull them apart and close all ends with blind plugs. Continue with the return line from the front. Loosen the clamp and remove the line. Close the connection. Loosen the screws of the two clamps and disconnect the pipe. Remove the cable ties that hold the bleeder hose and put it aside. Unscrew the fixing screw of the line and the screw on the oil filler neck. Put both aside. To later be able to lift the power hydraulics with a crane, install four fixing lugs to the subframe. Disconnect the two electrical connections at the rear of the power hydraulics fan. Close the open ends with appropriate protective caps. The subframe is fixed on each side with three screws. Unscrew them. In our case, we also have lines going to the front, so we have to tilt the cab before removal. Use a crane to gently lift the power hydraulics diagonally forward. Pay attention to the rear lines. Now the subframe and the power hydraulics have been removed and the Unimog is ready for winter snow clearance. Offer your customer the option of storing and maintaining the power hydraulics over the winter.